Have you ever wondered why your muscles aren't growing? Even though you hit the gym every day, you might even be taking supplements like whey and creatine, yet still not seeing a significant change when you look in the mirror. Why does this happen? We'll understand this in the next few minutes as we discuss the habits that most hinder your muscle gain. I've identified these seven habits through years of working with hundreds of clients, and you're probably making at least one of these mistakes without even realizing it. I'm Coach David, and I'll guide you through these habits for an incredible transformation. Ready? Let's go. If you're ready to learn how to achieve your best results, stay with me until the end, as I'll share practical and scientifically proven tips that will help you avoid these habits and correct them easily, so you can put them into practice today. The first habit that might be sabotaging your muscle gains, excessively long workouts. Many people believe that the more time they spend at the gym, the better their results will be because they are strengthening their muscles more. However, it works quite the opposite. When you spend too much time training, your body has a high chance of entering a catabolic state where instead of building muscles, it starts breaking down muscle tissue for energy. I've made this mistake in the past, thinking that training for hours, even to the extreme of training twice a day was the key to success. I remember a time when my workouts lasted two, sometimes three hours. I would leave the gym exhausted, thinking I had done my best. However, instead of seeing my muscles grow, they seemed stagnant and even shrinking. That's when I started studying about training and discovered that by going beyond the optimal point, my body was actually hurting itself and leaving me sore and dissatisfied with the lack of results. Today, my workouts are much shorter and more efficient. Instead of spending hours at the gym, I focus on training intensely for about an hour, and at most an hour and a half when I use some advanced strategic overload techniques. This allows my muscles to receive the necessary stimulus to grow without entering an excessive overload state that leads to catabolism. It's incredible how the quality of the workout matters more than the amount of time you spend. So, if you're killing yourself at the gym for hours on end, it might be time to reassess your approach. Excessively long workouts are not only unnecessary, but could also be hindering your progress. Focus on shorter, more effective sessions, giving your body the necessary time to recover and grow. In the video I released here on the channel prior to this one, I give more specific details with powerful tips to help you with your workout. The second habit that might be blocking your muscle gains, excessive stress. I know life can be very stressful with work, studies, family responsibilities, and so many other things. But when you're constantly stressed, your body produces a hormone called cortisol, and this cortisol can be a major villain for anyone trying to build muscle. I've gone through periods of high stress and saw firsthand how it negatively impacted my training results and my personal life. Cortisol, when at high levels, can disrupt sleep, increase cravings for unhealthy foods like sweets and fast foods, and drastically reduce your motivation to train. I remember a phase when, due to stress, I started sleeping poorly, craving things that weren't good for my body, and simply couldn't focus on my workouts. My muscle gain started to decrease, and I noticed my body fat began to increase each day. It was only when I started finding ways to manage stress that things began to improve. Incorporating relaxation practices, such as meditation, breathing exercises, and even hobbies that made me happy, helped reduce the cortisol levels in my body. This improved my sleep, my diet, and my motivation to train. The difference was huge, and my muscles started growing again, and my body fat percentage began to drop. So, if you're facing high levels of stress, it's crucial to find ways to relax and take care of your mind. The third habit that might be blocking your muscle gains, not consuming enough calories. Many people underestimate the amount of energy the body needs to build muscle. I've experienced this myself, thinking I was eating a lot when, in fact, my body was running out of energy and the necessary nutrients for optimal hypertrophy. Without enough calories, your body doesn't have the energy it needs to recover and grow. One thing I learned is the importance of consuming fast digesting carbohydrates right after a workout. These carbs help replenish energy quickly and start the muscle recovery process. At first I skipped this important meal, thinking it didn't make much difference. But when I started consuming a snack with carbohydrates and protein right after my workout, my results began to improve significantly, including a reduction in delayed onset muscle soreness, the kind that leaves you sore for days. Additionally, skipping meals throughout the day can be a big mistake. Your body needs a constant supply of nutrients to keep the muscle building process going. I used to get so busy that I'd forget to eat at regular intervals. 
Now I make sure to always have ready meals or healthy snacks on hand to ensure I'm always nourished and ready to grow. Check out the list of muscle building foods I shared in one of the recent videos on this channel. There are great ideas to include in your routine. Also, be mindful of choosing foods with low nutritional value, as this can be a silent saboteur that many people fall into on busy days. Fast food and junk food may seem convenient when you have a lot of tasks, but they don't provide the nutrients your body truly needs. By focusing on nutritious and balanced foods, you give your body the best environment to build muscle. The fourth habit I see increasingly common in the gym when it comes to building muscle, too much cardio. Many people think that doing a lot of cardio is the best way to stay fit and healthy. I used to think that way too, until I realized that I was sacrificing my muscle gains. Excessive cardio can actually start using muscle mass as energy, which is not what we want when trying to build muscle. I used to do long cardio sessions every day, thinking it would help me burn fat and get more defined. But I started noticing that instead of gaining muscle, I was losing muscle mass. It was a shock to realize that all that effort was taking me further away from my goals. So I changed my approach, reducing cardio to three times a week for 30 minutes and focusing more on weightlifting. This strategy is great for maintaining cardiovascular health without sacrificing muscle. Combined with my regular strength training, it helped me achieve the perfect balance between burning fat and gaining muscle mass. Remember, the key is balance. Do cardio smartly and efficiently without compromising all the hard work you put into building muscles. The fifth habit that might be blocking your muscle gain, not varying your exercises. Many people get stuck in the same workout routine, doing the same exercises week after week. I've fallen into that trap too, thinking I was being consistent. But the truth is, our bodies adapt quickly, and when that happens, muscles stop growing. I remember a period when despite going to the gym regularly, my results plateaued. I was doing the same exercises as always, without changing anything. That's when I realized the importance of varying exercises and challenging muscles in different ways. Today, I mix different types of exercises and techniques, like drop sets, supersets, and compound exercises. Additionally, I periodize my training every six weeks, as I've explained in previous videos, focusing on hypertrophy, strength, and endurance for six weeks each. This keeps workouts challenging and interesting. Moreover, varying exercises helps target different muscle groups and prevents workouts from becoming monotonous. This variety is crucial for continuing to progress and seeing significant gains. So if you're stuck in the same routine, try diversifying your workout. Introduce new exercises, experiment with different techniques, and keep your muscles guessing. This will not only help you avoid stagnation, but also make your workouts more fun and challenging. Let's talk about our sixth habit that could be seriously blocking your muscle gains consuming alcohol. Many of us enjoy a beer or a cocktail socially, but it's important to understand how alcohol can negatively impact your results in the gym. I used to enjoy a beer with family lunch on Saturdays, thinking that a few drinks on the weekend wouldn't make a difference. But the truth is, alcohol can have profound effects on your body and your ability to gain muscle. So I stopped consuming it for the sake of my quality of life and gym results. When you consume alcohol, your metabolism slows down. This means your body takes longer to process nutrients and burn calories. Additionally, alcohol interferes with protein synthesis, a vital process for repairing and developing muscle tissue. Without effective protein synthesis, your muscles can't recover properly from workouts, which can stall or even negate your gains. By cutting alcohol from my routine, I saw a significant improvement in my recovery and muscle gains. Not only did I feel stronger, but also more energized and motivated to keep training every day. Every small decision you make can make a big difference in your results. Remember, what you do outside the gym is just as important as what you do inside it. Stay focused and determined, and you'll see the results you desire. For you to achieve a powerful transformation, I've gathered five tips from my learnings with experts to help you improve your training and nutrition routine. Check them out here, as they contain very valuable insights. See you soon, my friend!